question in Jeopardy on how to calibrate your oven was what temperature do you put the control to enter the calibration mode on the oven? And a lot of people said 350 degrees. 350 would be the temperature that most people bake at home, their cakes, their cookies, etc. And when you go to check the temperature, you would use 350 degrees. You go to 350, bake, 350, and press start. And then you would actually take six readings, add them all up, and divide by six and get the average temperature to see how close you are to that temperature. Now, let's say you find out that the oven is 15 degrees hotter than it should be. So you put it at 350 and your average temperature comes out to 365. Well, there's a setting in the control board that you can go to that allow you to adjust 35 degrees higher or 35 degrees lower. And if your oven estimates at 365 when you're set to 350, you want to actually go 15 degrees lower in your setting. So what you do is you press bake and you go to 550 degrees on your control here. And this works for most Frigidaire and Whirlpool products. 550 and then press and hold bake again. And when you do that, it goes into a minus 15 because I calibrated it already. But I can go down to minus 35 or I could go to plus 35. Now, if it has been calibrated before, you'll see the minus 35 like you did. And I'm going to press start and I put it at zero. If no one's ever done any adjustments to these settings, it should start off with zero or double zero, knowing that it's still set as the factory. So let's go and see, I put it to zero. Let's go ahead and see if it stayed at zero. I'm gonna press bake. I'm gonna go back to 550 degrees. Press and hold bake again, and it should go to zero. Now, if I was 15 degrees too hot, I want to tell the control drop down 15 degrees. Press start, and now I've calibrated it back to this. Now, if you change the oven sensor, you want to check to make sure that no one has calibrated the oven before you because the oven sensors do fail. What really causes them to fail the most is self-cleaning because the hot temperature causes it to, to deteriorate over time. So when you change the oven sensor, you want to go bake, 550, and see if someone has gone in here and made changes to it over the years, and the customer might not remember. Press and hold bake again, and you see, oh, someone has changed it 15 degrees. So, so to reset the control back to factory settings of all zeros, if you change the oven sensor or something like that, you want to go into it just like you did before, press bake, Go to 550, and if someone's done work before you, you want to know that. Press and hold bake again, and you can see that it's been changed 15 degrees. We're going to reset it back to zero, and press start, and we have now reprogrammed it back to the original factory settings. So if you go to someone's house, and the oven sensor's bad, and you change it, you might want to check to make sure that someone hasn't gone and changed the settings in the control before you do because now the customer might call you back and say, hey, ever since you changed that sensor, now I'm burning my cakes and cookies. And maybe someone had made an adjustment to that sensor before you changed it, and you need to make sure that it's recalibrated back to factory settings.